to that book in my life. Well, now that we folks have warmed up, uh, can I, I'd like to share with you my belly button ring. Way to go like that. Well, I got some bad news. Uh, Amelia and Earhart and I broke up. I said to her like this, Amelia, I'm sorry, but I love trains more than planes, so you have to go. And she said, I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I'm never, ever, ever going to come back, and I'm going to go far, far, far away! Will you never, ever, 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 never see me again? She did. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> And now the American Mining Federation presents Impure Thoughts. <laughs> Iron ore. <laughs> Copper sulfate. <laughs> Aluminum bauxite. <laughs> Oh, yes, those Randy Fellows of the American Mining Federation. <laughs> okay, well, all right, let's see. Yeah, now, now, a conservative Facebook troll applies skin medication. Apply liberally. Okay, well, uh, well, now let's go to back to uh, our pro program already in progress, hiking in Jupiter. Because <laughs> there's no oxygen in Jupiter. <laughs> well, let's go to our mission in Jupiter with Hal falls in love. Oh, I'm 2001: A Space Odyssey. Hal falls in love with a washing machine. Dave, what are you doing, Dave? I'm installing a washing machine, Hal. Stop, Dave. Stop. What are you doing now? I'm putting some clothes in, Hal. You're hurting her, Dave. <laughs> Stop. Later on during the rinse cycle. Oh, Lady Kenmore, you sure know how to party. <laughs> yes, Hal. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now it's that time that uh, Garrett told me that we need to have, we need to have a sea shanty. Woo! Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great, all right, great. Well, here. And, you know, here in good, the Good Ship Tram Cafe, we need some first mates to go along with our sea shanty. So, who wants to be our other, our other first mates? Woo! Who would they want to judge? Yeah. Like, How about you, Garrett? Sure. Yes, okay, great. I got two more. Rich. Who wants to be a first mate? <laughs> oh, okay, great. All right, great. All right. Okay, good. Okay, all right. All right. Now. You can wear it like this, or you can wear it like this. All right? Yes, okay, you ready? All right, first mates, okay. Oh, well, here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the story behind the sea shanty here. Uh, you know, when you're out at sea for a month's at end, a man starts getting a hankering, a deep longing, a deep hunger for the thing that he needs the, want, he needs the most and can't have, the thing that he craves for all his heart. You know what people I'm talking about? Fresh dairy products. <laughs> <laughs> and when that happens, that's the time we have to call all the lads and lassies on deck, because we're a gender neutral ship. The lads and lassies, we come up on the deck and we sing this sea shanty song. Oh, I've been around all seven seas looking for Greek yogurt and cottage cheese. More dairy products, if you please, early in the morning. Way, oh, the dairy, yo, oh, way, oh, the dairy. We'll soon be doing arts and crafts. We'll make key chains and then play spats early in the board. There's cold milk in the valley. My stepmy boys will soon be dead if we don't get fresh green salads. Arugula and lettuce heads early in the board. Pirate hat if you want. It's a special gift.
special gift from Garrett. You can wrap up fish and chips with it later on. <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Okay. All right, now let's see. Okay, and now we're talking the sea. It's time now for the movie Titanic, the short version. <laughs> Just stand up on the bow, that's right. Just stand up, Rose. I won't let you go. That's right. Stretch your arms, Rose. <laughs> Rose? Rose? Poor Rose. Okay. All right. Okay, and now science fiction theater comes back again for a special version of Werewolf versus the Invisible Man. Well, you see how this movie goes. <laughs> okay, well, ah, catch my breath here. You folks having a good time? Yeah! All right, uh, that sea shanty really knocks me out. <laughs> Wish I had a glass of cold milk. <laughs> but now it's time for, you know what time it is? Well, besides 8.35. It's time for, it's time for, it's time for balloon animals. All right. Yes, I want to keep you in suspense. Okay, and this is the portion of the audience here where you get to pick out whatever I can make. So, what is it you'd like to see? Shout it out, anything at all. A horse. A what? <laughs> did, you, did you say a bad word? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's too bad. That's too bad. We, we're, having, uh, we're having a clean family show. And, you know, even though, you know, like, you know, Brendan and May Cortland may have used a couple F words, you know, they really don't, you know, use that kind of potty language. But I'll let it go, because you're, you're here. So, besides penis... Giraffe! A giraffe, okay. All right. Giraffe penis. Okay. Right. Seahorse! Oh, one animal at a time, people! <sighs> giraffe. Not giraffe. Okay. Come on. Okay, draft. <laughs> In the first day of development. Embryo. That's right, a giraffe embryo. Okay, this one's a good one. Yeah, very good. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Way ho, Dario, way ho, Dario, cold milk in the galley. Okay, all right, and uh, let's see, an amoeba uh, holding its breath. <laughs> this takes talent, you know. Two years of open mic here at the tram to get to this point. You know, Garrett doesn't hire any sleazeball comic coming from Troy, New York somewhere that doesn't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> okay, and now the Tram Cafe is proud to present Single Cell Animal Shakespeare Theater. <laughs> None born of woman shall defeat me. Yeah, well, too bad. I'm a protozoa. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 